For this year's summer vacation, I decided to explore the small town of Stavanger, Norway. This small coastal town is perfect for a weekend getaway, so let's check it out. My trip began by flying from Bergen to Stavanger. The flight itself takes less than an hour to get there, but it is worth it because of the beautiful seaside views the entire way. Once we landed, I was able to take the shuttle bus into town to find the Airbnb. Admittedly, the Airbnb was a little bit small, but it was perfect because we were just staying for a few days. Our room came with a nice bed and of course a desk, wardrobe, and last but not least, the kitchen. Just the right size for a few days stay. Once we were all settled into the Airbnb, we went downtown to the old part of the city. There were hundreds of birds at the park, so we just had to go and say hi to them all. We finished our first day in town by feeding the swans. The next day, we dedicated ourselves to exploring the colorful old town streets of Stavanger. Apart from the colorful streets, we also checked out the harbor. There were lots of boats and even more colorful buildings to see. Next, we spotted a tower in the middle of the city to discover it was Stavanger Fortress. Oh, honey, After the fortress, we made it back down to the harbor to see Graffiti Park. also had really good views of the ocean and the boat harbor. After hanging out at the park, we hopped on the next bus to see the famous Svart E Fjell. The famous Three Sword sculpture was created as a monument to remember a famous Viking battle that took place on these very grounds. The following morning, we woke up at the crack of dawn to drive to the famous Pulpit Rock hike. The hike itself is around three to four hours round trip, but is full of amazing views along the way. We had to go through the misty mountains and up the rocky trails in order to be at the top of the mountain for the hiking trail. The hike 
hiking didn't stop there. We still had several more mountains to climb over before we could make it to Pulpit Rock. The views along the way were probably my favorite part of the entire hiking experience. Pretty soon we made it to the Lisfjorden and we're on our way to Pulpit Rock. I felt so accomplished when we finally made it to our destination. Turns out there's a big crack going along the rock which means that one day it'll fall into the fjord and won't even be here anymore. Which made it feel so much more special that we were able to hike there today. I was even brave enough to go check out the edge of the cliff. After eating lunch and spending some hours on top of Pulpit Rock, we made our way back down the mountain. Hiking down went by a lot faster than it was going up, but it was still an amazing hike. Later that day, after getting back from our hike, we made our way through downtown to a sauna by the harbor. It was so warm and cozy, the perfect way to relax after a long day of hiking. I even took the paddleboard out for a spin. The following day was our last day in Stavanger, so we decided to go to the famous Norwegian Oil Museum.
liked being able to see how the machinery was operated. We also got to go up on top of the simulated oil rig to see the ocean views. We're at the oil museum in Stavanger. It's really cool here actually. saw at the museum was their amazing light show about oil. Day we had to pack up all of our belongings and say goodbye to beautiful Stavanger. We had a quick breakfast at a cute little cafe downtown and then took the shuttle bus to the airport. And with that, our wonderful vacation in Stavanger came to an end.